got the old vet. Pretty decent turnout. Got the old lip game right there. The little yellow piece. Pretty decent turnout. It's cold as shit. Last week, or uh, last month, I'm sorry, we had that whole parking lot filled up with actual cars, not dealer cars. So there's a lot less turnout here today, but still a bunch of few cool cars. Didn't really get to do a whole lot of filming. I've been doing a lot of talking. Oh, that's funny, a little thing dangling right there. Got air in some six. This thing is slick. The old vet here taking off. He's having fun with it. The old M5, dirty as hell. Didn't have time to get a car wash. Literally have like a pound of dirt on my hood. Talked to the guys gonna detail it though. <laughs> Everybody just staring at the vet. Missed that car, man. That thing was sick. But yeah, out here. Just not a whole lot going on. Sick GT500. Did a few custom upgrades to it. Man, that looks nasty. I don't know if that's vinyl. It's probably vinyl. Yeah, it looks sick. Just freaking beautiful car. Got the old addition there. I think it looks sweet, just kind of sets it off, especially from the back. Just so aggressive. Look at the tips on that thing. Holy shit. Keep my whole damn fist in it. I think it's sweet. Beautiful C8. Vinyl. Beautiful car. The red interior. Love the way they did that. <laughs> Another C6. Crazy. A bunch of unique builds out here. Hold that. Oh, got a wide body. I guess that's a, is that a scat pack? Yeah, scat pack. See, those wide bodies make these things like so bad. Big turbo 335, take it off. These wide bodies, man, they're just so aggressive. I definitely think that this car needed that. Makes it look a lot better. Those intakes are freaking sick, too. Goes through the headlight, into the air box. <clears throat> Sweet cars. Clean, I believe it was a, what is it, C10? Whew. On some dubs. Clean ass interior. Beautiful truck. See the built mountain bot, huh? Old C5. Oh, okay. This is a Z01. I guess it is. I didn't know this is a Z01. LSA on it. I 
sweet. Hell yeah. A bunch of other cool ones. Talk to this guy about his explorer. Clean ass Mini Cooper. This thing is so cool. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's so low to the ground, too. No radio, so it's just rocking the JBL. I love that. <laughs> that is sick. I know. It's just unique. <laughs> Little tailgate. <laughs> Damn, dude, that thing's like immaculate. Yeah, it's crazy. I think I'm gonna sell the Beamer for this. <laughs> So he did that. The guy I bought it from owned a leather company. Wait, you own this? This is my car. I was picking this up in Dallas. Son of a bitch, Miles. <laughs> I try to collect cars. Dude. You're like, the, yeah, you're the only person that's like more obsessed with buying cars than me. No, there's other people. But no, that I know of is what I'm saying. It's not. I'm glad that somebody else has the problem. It's cheap. <laughs> I mean, it's Dude, it's clean. Japanese stickers, like, this is clean. I didn't know that was you that rolled up in it, bro. It's got all the original Japanese stickers. It's got the import sticker when it came from. Oh Japan. shit, that's so sick. I had no idea you rolled up in this. That's so yeah. badass. And like, do you think it's super tiny? Damn. Damn. Like, look at the leg room. I'm Dude, yeah, that's what I was just looking at it. That's badass. Holy you shit. It. You said to put one leg down over under the steering wheel. And if you feel how comfy that is. Ooh. Stupid company, dude. You got this thing to 160 yet? What's kilometers? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Huh? Dang. It hard. even has, like, the, the well, font. That and put that on. Oh. That's crazy. So what brand is this? This? What is it? How do you say it? No, what brand is the this car? This is a Nissan. It's a Nissan. It's a Nissan POW. P-A-O. Dang. Like a couple hundred in America land. Whenever it rolled up, I thought it was, like, some... Original Mini Cooper is what it looks like. Know. This thing is sick. So this is Japan's answer to the Mini Coupe because they were buying Mini Coupes in Japan. So Nissan was like, we need to make something. We're losing business. They made 56,000 of these in 1989 and sold them. Dude, there's room in the back seat too. Yeah, I had three people here already. Cool, and then my other buddy like rode around on my body. That has to be the most wild thing I've ever seen. And it's got the defrost, all those little switches. The soft top sunroof. Yeah. Oh, I got another one to put on that. Oh. This one does work, though. Damn, dude, this thing is sick. All the old knobs. Like the backpack on the back of the chair back there. It's got like little satchels. It's really <laughs> sick, dude. Damn, this thing's cool. Comfortable. All the original the Japanese. Japanese. Dude, this thing is sweet. The wood grain steering wheel. Dude, dude. Is that cash? Yeah. Leaving? Damn, this thing's cool, man. I didn't know you, you're the one who bought it. Uh, if you'll pull that out, this pull straight out, and then turn it. Now, like, pull it, like, twist it. That's how you, like, move the seats. Fucking real cool. Thing, what? Dude. Yeah. There's little things about it that just... How do you go back off. down? Just go the other way? Go the other way. I'm going to let you do that. I ain't breaking it. Just it just feels rough. I know. I don't want to break it. I think it's sick. That is so cool. I mean, it's on air rhyme. That's I sweet. I didn't fix air rod. It's just little things about the fucking car, dude. Like, how? What year model is it? This is Nissan right there, 1989. Damn, dude, that's so cool. Yeah. This is probably one of the most unique cars I've like actually seen in the right, in the like, right hand drive. Right. I mean, it's, it's all. You bought it from a guy, or a... yeah, in Dallas. He had it to promote his leather company. And he wanted to sell it. I saw it like eight months ago go up. Yeah, it's a lot. And I was like, no. Yeah. I've looked for one for like three years, but it's hard to find a good one that's not on like a bidding site, you know? Yeah. And I don't like to do that. I hate that yeah, too. I don't want to do that. I hate the bidding stuff. It's something you got to babysit for a while. Yeah. And I mean, then you got to pay for it to get to you. And then it's just, so he posted it. Then he posted it again. And I just told him like, hey dude, like this is where we're sitting. What I told you last time, 
And he's like, well, it's just too low. I said, okay. And he messaged me up two weeks later and he's like, well, he was like, would you do this? And I was like, if I get there and it's, everything's good, then we'll do it. Like, they ran the air ride around the rack and pinion. So it was just ripping it off. He was like, yeah, my buddy did it. He does air ride for a living. So I started hearing it leaking when we drove it and came back. So I had to reroute it. You see right here? Oh yeah? I had to reroute it there. So I had to drill a hole up there to reroute it. So I rerouted it there. And then we ran a line all the way from the back up and gave it a little more slack because it's really tight. And then I reran this side and it was good. But I told him, I was like, man, something's leaking. I was like, we're gonna have to go low. <laughs> Just so, air. <laughs> that's like, that's, uh, that's badass was, though, dude. Fix. Yeah, he gave me an all brown leather top to change it out with. Extremely clean. I've got the front bumper and the back bumper, but I'm not putting them on. The grill is like dope on this thing. Sick shit. Like Bentley style. Yeah, I know. That's what, well, the, in the, the emblem right there, it kind of. Yeah, like the, the wings and stuff, like it make it look like an expensive car, you so know? I got that's it. pretty cool. Next to my storage unit says he's gonna try to find one. I told him I'd help him find one. I found one in Virginia that's pretty clean, but I told him it's from Virginia. So. What do they run for, like a decently clean um, one? This one was so probably this pretty like 80 high. 80 something thousand miles. So I paid 11, he asked 15. They go for about, damn, they that's, go anywhere that's... from 13 to 13.5 with about 70, 80,000 miles on them. Um, really good condition, like this. Those rims are fucking vibrant. I looked them up. Yeah. See these knockoffs? So I started doing the research on them. The knockoffs are close to three. These are real from fucking Germany, imported in. They fucking run like five grand for these rims. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Those are sweet too. Yeah, they're nice. Got the so little he, lip he on. He did it right. He said that he did the rims. They're not rashed or anything? No. I don't think he drove it much. How high does it ride like when you're going down the highway? Like what is it oh. typically? It gets all the way up dude. Oh, I imagine. It's just to ride like that guy. There you go. The ride about like that. Oh, shit, I didn't even. Damn. So it actually has like several inches. Yeah, yeah. It cannot, it cannot drive all the way down. Yeah. And, they, and you have to like, do that old school, like old bull trains. <laughs> you know how the old bull trains you have to align? You have to do it like that, dude. So, yeah. Damn, this thing is cool, man. Alright, guys, so finished up the cars and coffee. Uh, back home, we're gonna go eat some lunch with some friends and stuff, and then kind of hang out the rest of the afternoon. So this is probably gonna be it for this video. Um, just a little shorter one, kind of walk around the cars and coffee, taking a little tour of the of the old Nissan. I thought that thing was a uh, thought it was an old Mini Cooper, but I guess it's an old Nissan, uh, straight from Japan. That thing is sweet. I'm not really into cars like that, but that's a crazy collectible car that's very unique. I mean, that thing was turning more heads than like you know the, a lot of the vets and stuff that were out there. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and I know the, the owner, I have no idea, it was his car. So that's just uh, kind of cool little deal. But anyway, they got another one, I think, in two weeks. So hopefully we'll do that. The runs that were supposed to happen this weekend, all those guys coming down to go to Mexico got canceled due to the weather. A bunch of guys are coming from out of town several hours away. So there was, um, you know, we didn't want to get here. And then we go to do our runs and Mexico's all, the roads are all slimy and, um, excuse me, I have the hiccups slimy and grimy and all that stuff and it's just going to be spin city so there's a, a few more higher horsepower cars coming so they're uh, kind of changed everything so i don't know when they're going to reschedule that it should be soon uh streetcar video is supposed to come out and video that one uh he just threw up um a video on his channel actually from whenever he was back in lubbock over thanksgiving uh and we, i have the vet and that's whenever uh, if you've go back, if you've gone back and looked at my channel, you've seen um, some of the older runs with the vet. A lot of those um, kind of were with those guys. Uh, the um, the time over Thanksgiving, the video that he just dropped, the vet's in there. It's from like seven minutes and twenty seconds to seven minutes and fifty seconds. We did two runs with the Paxton five uh, zero and uh, a few other ones. But that night we ran probably 10, 11 times that night um against different cars and the other ones weren't as good there's a few hellcats that we had ran and we had beat um <clears throat> another c5 that was weight reduction and all that good stuff uh and then of course that paxton and then some integra some other um 
C6s. So it was a fun time. If you want to go check out that video, uh, it's streetcar video. It's the most recent one he's posted. Um, you want to go check out the vet and in action. Uh, makes me kind of miss it. But um, anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video off here. Uh, if y'all have anything that y'all want to see, I'm going to actually go take a ride in that little um, Nissan thing. Uh, and probably do a little review on it. I'm probably not going to drive it, but um, I'll do a little review on that and um, get some more content for you guys. So I will, uh, I'll see y'all soon. Till next time.